Political leader, parliamentary representative for Castries East, the next Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Philip J. Pierre. Parliamentary representative for Castry South. The man they so afraid of, they're going after his car. <laughs> Honorable Ernest Hilaire. Second deputy leader. And the only one to open a bag of cement in Denry North over the last eight years. <laughs> Parliamentary rep for Denry North. Honorable Sean Edward. Former Prime Minister of St. Lucia. The best Prime Minister St. Lucia has ever seen. Dr. Kennedy Anthony. Party Chairman. Egnomla Ezekiel Pepaseki, <laughs> Parliamentary Rep for Viewfort North, Honorable Moses Musa Jabatis, <laughs> General Secretary, Mr. Leo Clark, <laughs> Senators, Terence Skinny St. Clair, product of Grosley, is in the house. Lisa Jawa here, the future of Castry Southeast is in the house. Jacques Rosile! Jacques Rosile, Supawe! Said Lisi, je nomme la Weave. Hey, Timmy Dusa, je nomme ça la Pawe. Hey, Leo Diu Maji, Dio, je nomme ça la cagé, Grosile. You see, when you grow up in a Labour Party family, let me tell you one thing you learn. You learn to be passionate about St. Lucia. You learn to be passionate about the income your mother and your father brings to your household. You learn the value of seeing after your neighbor. And you become a true St. Lucian who is passionate about doing things the right way. And the right way is with the St. Lucia Labour Party. The St. Lucia Labour Party will never, ever go in a house, go to the Governor General at night and at day, hustling to break the laws that govern our country. The St. Lucia Labour Party is the party that has been held at fault for doing things the right way. And I, as a young man from Grosley, prefer the way of the St. Lucia Labour Party. All right. All right. All right. St. Lucia, we are in a state of emergency. But the state of emergency we are in is the United Workers Party. It is created by the United Workers Party. We as a people had the fundamentals enough that when the United Workers Party was scrambling to find heaven at Rat Island, St. Lucia had the capacity and the people, not through the efforts of the, of the United Workers Party, but because of our experts in this nation, and we were able to stay afloat. But yet still, despite that, the Alan Shastney administration insists that he has to have social control on us as a people. And so they push this bill in the house. They push this bill in the house. 
The very first segment of this bill speaks to a command center. The command center includes the command center in this bill. The first thing they say about the command center, the function is described as to serve as an advisory body to cabinet. So the composition of this command center, stay with me, St. Lucia, a minister of cabinet as a chair, the CMO, a representative from the office of the prime minister, PS of tourism, PS of health, PS of finance, commissioner of police, no seats at the table for the National Youth Council. I will inform you that the National Youth Council is the largest sector of civil society. They represent the largest sector of civil society. And you will tell me this government care about young people? Absolutely not. To this day, we still do not have a youth policy. Not once in the house did you hear the UWP mention the impact this extended state of emergency will have on our young people. Not once. I therefore remind this government that many young people started micro-businesses before COVID-19. Many young people invested in their careers in the hotel industry before COVID-19. To insist on licensing tourism activities, local tourism activities during this hard weather season speaks to the vindictiveness of the United Workers' Party. To extend this COVID-19 bill and force it through speaks to the vindictiveness of this party. The young people need a government that stands and respects them. Respects them enough to tell them the truth. Now, a number of young people from the constituency, they were looking forward to making their contribution post-COVID-19 after this state of emergency but right now suppression suppression is what we see my people of Grosley my people of Grosley we are fed up now people come and tell me as a young man getting fresh into the politics don't go and quarrel Oh, Philip J. Pierre does quarrel. The Central Labour Party people does quarrel. The young people tell me, don't go and fight. And fight. The truth of the matter, my people, is that I did not come into this thing as a young man to fight against the parliamentary representative of Grusely. I came into this process I came into this political arena to fight for the people of Grosley. So when vendors find themselves in a bind because there's no more Grosley Friday night, when vendors realize that there's no way to pay those extra bills, he did nothing. Jique toujours. And we did a virtual Friday night that he was the only one who didn't contribute one cent to. And you tell me this man cares about Grosley. Right now, we were looking forward to implementing something in Grosley called Sunday by the Bay. Something similar to the Grosley Friday night, but we hold it on the last Sunday of every month on Bay Street in Grosley. Something where vendors could have given parents who are at home a break by preparing food. Something where young people could come on the last Sunday of the month and display their talent and their capabilities in front of a crowd. Something where we could start investing in 
aqua action on the bay in Grosley for people to enjoy themselves. Something that was embraced by many that would be impactful and income generating. What do they do? They pass this bill, stifling our people. I say to my people of Grosley, my fight is not against this current parliamentary rep. Even though while Ernest Hiller stood in parliament defending the rights of people, it's a power to box Lee. While he is ready to box them, I'm ready to fight on behalf of the people of Rosalind. When scores of businesses in the constitu constituency of Grosley continue to close down while a government tries to find creative ways to tax the middle class and the working class, I don't fight against the current parliamentary rep. I fight for the people of Grosley. When a government can tell Bishnu Tulsi, one of my residents, one of our persons in Grosley, one of many Guyanese who have contributed to the development of this country. Other Guyanese such as David Shakes Christopher who has helped build the football in St. Lucia. When you could say to this people, go back home, I don't come here to fight against you. I come here to fight for them. So when people from Grand Riviere Asu Canal and White Rock have to deal with dust from a road that has been destroyed by this government for months now. My fight is not against this parliamentary rep. My fight is for the people of Grosely. When residents from Boisdouage, Marisil and Corinth and other areas have to buy brand new furniture after flooding in their communities because of silted rivers. My fight is not against this parliamentary rep. It's on behalf of these people. When the people of Monsepa are crying, saying they are being robbed of their own possessions because the grass on the side of the road is being used as hiding ground for thieves, when I step in to cut that grass for the people, my fight is not against the parliamentary rep. It's for these people. Now, my people, God is not asleep. He gives us signs. He gives us monuments for we as people in St. Lucia to look at. Right now, if you go on the East Coast, you will see artificial turf. All over St. Lucia, artificial turf. You go to Miku, artificial turf. You go on the other side to Sufre, artificial turf. This government is an artificial government. This government has moved away from what is natural to St. Lucians and replaced it with plastic. This government has moved away from natural grass what is truly saint lucian and we as saint lucians are responsible when we walk away from a natural man like dr kenny anthony and the saint lucia labor party and we replace it with a plastic man this is what we get plastic government and my people, they will continue to be plastic. They will continue to be rubber. They will continue to be fake. Because all that is natural to St. Lucia, like the Peters they are against. All that is natural to St. Lucia, like Pigeon Island and our national landmarks, they are against. But the St. Lucia Labor Party is the party of natural St. Lucia. It's a party. For natural assembly. So, my people, when you go around St. Lucia and you look at what's been done, when you look at what's been done, we know 
that we have our work to do. They have removed the marketing board. They got rid of Radio St. Lucia. The fisheries is now no more and in the hands of a private individual. Our fisheries. St. Lucia, it is time to go back to our natural heritage. It is time to tell Alan Chastney and his band of thieves we are not into his fake politics. St. Lucia, it is time to get rid of this government. It is time to get rid of this cancer. For St. Lucia to grow, Chastney, Chastney, for Groselet to grow, the lazy one must go. I thank you.